Kathy Lynch. Kathy should be coming. Yeah. Okay. Right now we have seven on the committee, so we have the quorum. We can get started. Sure. Okay. We don't want to wait. Okay. Did everyone get the minutes from January 22nd? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. No corrections? Complaints? Complaints? Okay. No I make a motion to accept the uh, minutes. I'll second. Okay. Any opposed? Okay. I sh you should do this. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, welcome to, is it? Hannah. Hannah. From uh, East Hampton Chiropractic. Right. <laughs> G-R-A-Y-B-O-F-F? -F? Yes. Okay. So, do you have anything you want to say or just to start off? Kind of listening. We're really happy. I'm glad that you came. Thank you for the email. Yes, thank you. I was just, um, you know, searching on the web, just looking at different organizations. And, you know, being able to be a part of East Hampton as a community. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to, you know, find different ways and learn about this organization. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Well, we're. I mean, the mothers may say differently, but we're kind of still in the building phase. We're about to launch our first major project mm -hmm. and uh, which the survey and the website kind of goes along with the hand and that's you'll probably be hearing some ideas in development and uh, just feel free to put in your two cents. Sure. Do you live in East Hampton? I live in North Hampton. Born in Britain? Uh, no, originally from Longmeadow, so okay. fairly okay. nearby. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So, um, should we move on to the survey? Yeah. A quick, quick note, I want to make sure that we do spend enough time on the website. Okay. Since I'm talking to the Chamber of Commerce. Okay. Yeah, so, we did not, we were not able to get uh, Mark to start submitting up doing the input on, on the survey monkey. So, we'll be up to a couple of us to do that. Yeah. Uh, my time is a little less crazy this coming week, so I can start working on it. Yeah. So, um, that's the survey monkey. Yeah. yeah. If you and I, if you and I want to get together for just a few minutes, okay, like we can start to set it up. And all yeah. There haven't been any edits to since the last time. Uh, I think I sent out the final draft and the Word and PDF version. There may have been a few minor. Updates since then, but will you send me the final file? I, I will. Okay, or send it to um, the group. There, there are obviously going to be some more changes as we go because as we figure out where we're going to put the drop off and pick up locations, we're going to have to update the form. So the, I don't think the questions or responses have changed, but the um, the sort of introductory paragraph and the closing paragraph might. Change so. Okay. Yeah. I would say when we start putting the survey online, let's forget about the inter just get the questions in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, those are those are. I feel comfortable with them. I think. And I speak for everyone. And we all feel comfortable with them. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Jessica feels comfortable. So, you know, it's the, the intro could be part of the page itself above the survey. That's true. Right. right. We don't necessarily need it there for the uh, EVRC people to. Right. And so we can. Test it. So we'll we'll figure that out. I think mm -hmm. before we go live with it. Mm -hmm. So and those would be the only changes. Um, do we have a subscription? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And if you want to, anyone who wants to help it, get in there and set it up, that's where we're at that point now where it's ready to go. Okay. Yeah. So I think, I don't know if people saw the, the logos that were put up on it. No, good. So that the new version has the logos. So I don't know if anyone. What's the other logo? That's the city logo and the local logo. The city logo. So I thought it made a nice balance. Yeah, that's good. Do we want to put that on our website? The city logo as well? I like that balance of the two. Why not? What the heck? Um, and then the other thing um, that came up to me this, this morning was that actually we're not doing a community preference survey, we're actually doing a consumer preference survey. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, because we're not, the community preference survey implies people are choosing the community. Mm. 
Okay. Why do you want to like find your community? Okay. And we're more focused than that. Really, just so that was my. I caught that this morning. I don't know everyone's agreement, but that doesn't make more sense. So refer to it as a consumer, consumer preference. Yeah. Community, not rather than community preference. It's consumer preference instead of community. Yeah, or, or it's a retail preference, but it's a bit bigger than just retail yeah, because yeah. we're asking questions about arts and mm, restaurants, restaurants and other things. So yeah, I think consumers good. What about calling it local preference survey? Since we're local, different things are local. No, the local works is pleased to announce the publication of local preference survey. Yeah, he's going to do that. Yeah. I think the consumer yeah. preference survey yeah. yeah. gets to, yeah. to yeah. the. Yes. Good point. Okay. Okay. Good. Um, so that's the yeah. 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 So we're looking at four, uh, April 4th. Yeah. I spoke to the Gazette. I got a hard quote on the insert for the summit. Um, it's about a thousand dollars, a little bit more. Um, we have the money in the budget. It's, um, but I just wanted to get a hard quote from them so they mm -hmm. held it for us. They said they need a month prior to the well, three weeks prior to the summit. So we have to get it to them basically a month in advance. So to get in the summit on the 11th, April 11th, we have about two weeks, three weeks to get it to them. Because they need to print it and fold it and do all that stuff, and that takes them time to do. Right, right. What was the date by submitted by? Uh, they, they wanted three weeks for the publication date, so we're really looking at basically the beginning of March to get it to the summit. And I'll, and I'll be, you know, I, I can continue that process of making sure that they get what they need and I'll work okay. at Summit to make that happen. Okay. Um, I imagine that the ads that we're planning to run in the Summit would also need some lead time to them. Probably not quite as much, though. Okay. Mm -hmm. Will you be responsible for nailing down whatever is concrete? Yeah, sorry. But it would be helpful to have some sort of ad that we can send them. So I'm, I'm happy to, you know, to work with someone to, to for, develop it. Yeah. Or I think someone named Josh said was going to do that. Yeah. Actually, the note taker. The note taker said he was going to do that. So you're saying to have an ad notes. in the previous <laughs> edition. Is that, is that what you're talking about? Um, no, what? I think what we were Where's talking about ad? doing was releasing the press release at the beginning of April. Mm. Um, to time it with the release on the website and to then um, generate just a very sm like just a little buzz before it gets out um, and then putting it in the summit and then doing the ads in the summit I think the three weeks following just to say reminder and you can go here to pick it up mm -hmm. or go here to drop it off okay I will, I will work. I will have something right by next week. Okay. We should, maybe we should have like a timeline with these key things, you know, all together, so we all know what okay. our. Because we're getting down to the wire. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we, we really are just yeah. to make the April deadline. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Um, so your press release. You know, I will send out the ad on the email. Okay, and I'll, I'll send out everyone a timeline with the sort of milestones, milestones. on that. Different items. Website, okay. ad, press release, okay. well, physical. Survey, the, the survey monkey, the ads, press release, the survey. We have to get the drop boxes. Mm -hmm. So we, we have quite some, a few little moving pieces. Yep. Okay. No, we, Josh, do you want to update about the incentive? Sure. We don't really have that. We, um, I was talking to Mayor Mike uh, a week or so, a little over a week ago and told him how we want to have an incentive. We were initially thinking of offering $200 gift certificates to any business in East Hampton to people who would, uh, it's a, it's a, Mm -hmm. Anonymous survey, but if people want to give their contact information, they'll be entered into this drawing. Mm -hmm. um, he and Mike was concerned as to whether or not it's appropriate to use city money for that. 
because uh, mm -hmm. it would have to be that if we were going to offer a gift certificate to anyone they wanted, because we they would tell us where it is, and then we cut a check. Um, so he asked me to write him a note with the details and so he could pursue it. I did, and he's in the process of doing that. There's one more step to go through, and it doesn't mm -hmm. sound like it's going to be likely. So I think we have to look at soliciting businesses. Um, I was talked to my Matt yesterday. I, Matt yesterday. I'm not sure. It's going to be tough to get a, an individual business to offer up a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. We could say like gift baskets with three thirty-three dollar gift certificates to different businesses. Mm -hmm. Or we could say. Um, I, I know at one point Kathy thought of. Uh, doing three $50 ones or four $50 ones instead of two $100 ones. That could lead to, say, $50 gift certificates to... So there's four to prizes them. instead of just one chance to win. Instead of just two, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Two. Can I um, interject? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was talking to um, the planning director this morning about this part of the, the incentive. Um, and her comment to me was that She's not convinced that people will do a survey because of the chance that they may win a prize later down the road. Mm -hmm. That most people in this community who are going to participate are going to participate because they are involved in the community and they want to participate and they want their sort of voice heard. Um, to what does she base that on though? Because that's just her opinion. or. or because she's been working in the valley for ten years, doing surveys in different communities. Mm -hmm. and, you know, right, right. No, 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 I just mean that in my mind, people want a right. prize. And then her experience has mm -hmm. been that the, the response rates you get more response rates not by what you offer as prize, but basically how you go about soliciting. Mm -hmm. That the, the, the highest response rates are when the surveys go to every house in the city, either through an insert or direct mail or something like that. But the price couldn't hurt. I mean, you know, people I, I, see fifty dollar a chance to win four chances to win fifty dollars complete this. Right. Plus so the, the, the other the other piece about it was that people are even to win a prize, people are still unwilling to fork over their contact information yeah. um, unless they know what they're sort of signing up for. Mm -hmm. So so being more we thought that we should be more clear about what it is that we're asking people right. for. Like what they're going, you know, so we say we're going to get this mailing list because once a year we want to send you an email. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, the, the, what what our intentions are for the mailing list, why mm -hmm. we're collecting this information, and that if we don't know why we're collecting it and we don't have a reason to collect it, and we can't explain that succinctly, then it's a sort of fishing expedition and people, regardless of the prize, aren't willing to just give away their contact information. So there will always be people on all, on all sets of the spectrum. Right. For those people where that is a carrot, though, it might still be good to have that. I don't think you'll do Sure. Okay. But if you do the 450, how are we going to de decide which person gets which? It would be random. Random. Yeah, it would have to be random. We can't have people fighting over them. Right. <laughs> oh, I want to Manchester. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. I, I, just for the record, I didn't think that um, the gift certificates were to give people incentive to do the survey. I thought it was to get their information. Right, it was to mm. incentive, incentivize, incentivize, get them to want to put their, give us their contact information. What do we, why good. do we need their information? Because we want to contact them in the future mm -hmm. with other information about what local works yeah. is, is yeah. doing. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's a great suggestion to actually, you know, let them know why we want their information. Right, and, and how we're going to use it and how we're not going to mm. use it. But maybe some people will be put off by the idea of, you know, they don't mind helping us out with the survey, but they don't necessarily want to sign up for a bunch of mailings, right. even though they might even be interested in local works, just because right. people are, you know, are reluctant to... Right. You know, I think it says something like, no more than twice a year, no more than four times a year, or whatever it is that people are not going to get. I'm there. reluctant to put, give my information to anyone. Yeah. Yeah, but if someone says, you know, we won't email you more than twice a year, 
you're probably a lot more willing than. It's, it's totally anonymous. Let's just take our survey and then maybe over on the other, right next to it, we have a thing for a prize that's not connected to the survey at all, just on the website under your, your information to subscribe and maybe there'll be a prize. Maybe, maybe we're going at this wrong way. Yeah. Maybe people should, maybe, I don't know, maybe not even have consenters at all. Yeah. yeah. Maybe just have people want to give their information because they want to be in touch. And I'm also nervous about saying we will only con to contact you X numbers of times a year. Yeah. Because what if we make a mistake and do the third or something? Right. They won't be if we have a sign up thing on the page that's sign up for newsletter or sign up, you know, for our Twitter feed, follow us, they're gonna be have an opportunity to connect with us. Yeah. Just like and maybe we maybe let's not do it as a well incentive, as yeah. a prize. No, no prize. Yeah. No. Get it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, just going door to door to solicit prizes. You, you know, we, we have basically because of when the deadline to get the survey and hard copy to this mm. to the summit is too we much. Have basically, two, two and weeks? a half, three weeks to yeah. right. figure out what we're doing, at least in the hard copy version. Right. So. Unless we want to push everything back, but I don't think we want to do that. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could do some sort of incentive prize thing in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. um, find out if there's a reason to do that for some event or something that was... But I, I do understand that, you know, as we're getting this out to just about every household in the city, it is a good opportunity to get that. Mm. To see if we can, you know, if we yeah. do want to have a mailing yeah. list at some point, yeah, no, let's ask and well, it's completely voluntary if they yeah. to you know. If we're feeling too rushed for this April 4th deadline, it may not be bad to delay it a week or two or a month if, if we keep it tentative to a certain degree until we feel well, it's not, well, it's not delayed. Let's I mean I I, I think that Sorry, we, I think that we should <laughs> yeah. you know we've got we've got it right. we've been working on it for a long time. Right. We need to get these results. Kind um, of see where we're going and yeah. I'm going to make a motion because we've been going on about the incentives for a while. This is a big change. So I'm making a motion that we drop the idea of incentives. Okay. Anyone second it? I'll second it. Second it. Okay. Any inject objections? Well, okay. Sorry? Yes. <laughs> for the survey. For the survey. Just, 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 just want to add one thing about the thing. We could leave it very general. We could say, you know, we don't have to say what the prizes are, how many, or whatever, mm -hmm. if we wanted to sort of hedge. What do you mean? I'm gonna say, you know, sign up, there'll be a prize. You have a chance to win the prize later. I, I think we should do some other type of contest, okay. you know, where the, yeah. some right. other type of prize. Okay. Um, okay. So, so. You need to be more specific okay. for anybody. So, yeah. Is that in here already? Does that give us more room? Um, yeah, that cuts out the, on the introduction paragraph, there's, Enter yeah, okay. boring. Right. So this is complete the survey and enter your contact information to join our mailing list. Denise points out. So do you want that rewritten? Um, I think I'm just going to strike the last two sentences of it. Mm -hmm. So I'll just say complete the survey, or just say enter your contact in, at the information at the end to join our mailing list. Yeah. Or just well, I like just to keep in touch. To join our mailing list. To keep, list to and to be able to keep periodically in touch. throughout the year. And to learn about keep what we're up to periodically yeah. throughout the year. To stay informed. Stay informed. Stay informed. Maybe yeah. make mention of also visit our website where you can subscribe to our Twitter and. Well, we have that. We encourage you to go online, visit our website. Keep in mind, most people doing this survey will know that because they accessed it for the website right. already. They're on the web, right? Well, that, not that, that, most, but plenty. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're hoping. <laughs> um, and then at the, the back here, it just says, so basically just to say, to join our mailing list, please enter your contact information below. You know, to stay informed. Should we yeah. give them that what you were talking about earlier as far as um, how we're going to use their information? I think so. Okay. I think you know that's the right location to say join our mailing list. Like, what did you just say? You said informed. really well. To stay informed. Just stay informed with local the, works. Local or, works. Yeah. Doing, but yeah. where will we put that on the on the, on the, map, right, on the right above the 
to the contact. I see, okay. To stay informed, right. that's what he says? Stay informed. Yeah. To stay informed about local works. I want to say, like, find out the results of the survey. No. Let's, How are we going to post that? Let's keep that? it simple. Let's, let's not commit to that yet. Let's keep it simple. Well, I mean, stay informed. We don't know whether or not we're going to do that yet. We. Yeah, I mean, it's... It would be nice, but we've never talked about it. It would be nice, but I think since we're on a tight timeline, mm -hmm. let's not bite off more than we can chew at this point. Okay. I'm not saying don't, don't do it later. Yeah. But for right now, the, the more stream, the fewer changes we, fewer last minute changes we yeah. make to this, the more likely we're going to be able to reach our April 4th mm -hmm. state goal. Right. Should we also include that, you know, we're not going to sell your email address? Yes. But the, I mean, the problem is we are a government organization that has Freedom of Information Act requests that we can't guarantee that people, like, this is not a confidential, and I, and I don't know how to go about getting that sort of like, why do we need to? I mean, it, it so I'm just saying we can't. I, I'm saying to okay. say that we 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 won't sell it, sure, mm -hmm. but we can't guarantee that no one will be able to yeah. come in and request that information. That in a court we would have yeah. to provide that information. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if someone's worried about it, they won't give us their contact information. You know, yeah. I mean, most of this, you know, name, address stuff like that that's public record that's published all the place most people's email addresses i have a feeling that people are going to be reluctant to give their contact info because there's in income information on here if they don't have to why even ask for it maybe just say visit our website where you can sign up for newsletters and follow our twitter that gives that's them actually a really good that's idea a very good point because then we we they go online to do it yeah. Um, yeah, sign up. And it's separate from the survey. Totally separate. Devil's advocate, we, we missed the opportunity of 11,000. That's true. So we could, we could do both. We yeah, could say, it says optional. Put it in now. here or go online to put, put it, it in online. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Or have you um, ever used like QR codes to maybe? I mean, not that everyone has mm -hmm. smartphones, yeah. but another way to have them like jump on to take the, you know, the newsletter or be a part Put of the QR code on the back on the back of each one of these that links directly to. Mm -hmm. the That's a good idea. Yeah. Now, what is the the point of the QR code though? It'll link to your get so easy instant access to a specific URL. You have to like use it on your phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Scan it with your smartphone. smartphone. Yeah. So then our survey has to now be designed. You you know, 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 know. Doesn't follow like on Facebook or follow you on Twitter. Or you know, send you to the link for this. What Hannah was saying was, will we just have an op opportunity for them to, to link right. from that to our website? Like this, but if I have not, not, not to take right. a right. card, and if people do that, they get my. I mean, I've used them before, website. but I've just mm -hmm. never. You know, it's just as easy, easy to type in www.wallagency.com. Right. It's, it's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. Some people are different. For some people, this is all they have. You know, they don't have a laptop with them, they don't have a computer with them. And if they just see, if they're on the bus somewhere or in a restaurant, they say, oh, that's cool. Click, oh, I'm there now. You know, they don't have to have a computer phone. We could, th that wouldn't cost yeah. anything to put one on. Yeah, I mean, there'll yeah, be space. If we have space. There'll be space at the bottom, or there'll be space. I think yeah. it could go at the end of yeah. the survey. Would that be a good thing? Visit the, use your smartphone to visit the yeah. survey online. And and what is it to? Is it to the website? Just to, to be wherever we want. Wherever we want, yeah. How about just the website? I think since we can use our website. it in the future. Okay. Right. okay. okay. Sure. Yeah. Do we have mention of our Facebook page on there? I don't think you do. You should like us on Facebook. If there's room. It's not a deal, it's not a deal breaker. So maybe I don't want do we have that on page. do we have that on the website? The like us on Facebook? We have a link from the yeah. website to yeah. Facebook. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean Sure. We can, we can, where would we put that? How about at the end? At the end, I think. Okay. Go online. Or just say, so to stay informed about local works, join our mailing list by entering your contact information below, or go online or like us on Facebook. 
or something like that. I think just have the like us on Facebook be a sentence all by itself. It's not an or, 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 or. In addition to all this other great stuff you can do, like us on Facebook. Okay. So, Denise, you have the press release. Is there anything that needs to be changed in light of what we've discussed today? You don't mention prizes or anything of that nature. Yeah, just the community, the consumer, correct? Yeah. Which you did. Yeah. So. I did that magically while we were talking right now. <laughs> <laughs> did you press? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's up top. Yeah. Thank you, Denise, for starting this and making this sure. Sure. first uh, mm -hmm. cut of it. Um, I think. We can, the, if it, you're, I don't know how you feel about it, but if you want, the planning department can take care of, you know, getting it out. Disseminating? Disseminating it. Certainly. Um, and, um, yeah. And you're okay with your, you being the contact and all that? Yeah, I mean, I think that makes sense. I'm here. I can answer the phone if you know if that makes sense. Um, and obviously, the first paragraph needs to be yeah filled in. Right. Um, I showed it to Jessica, and she was saying that it was a bit long for a press release. Mm -hmm. So, um, if it's okay with you, I could maybe work with her to shorten it up a little bit. And then bring that back to the committee before we lease it, or. But I didn't. I wanted to talk to you about how you felt about this press release because it's your thing. No, I think that's totally fine. As, as long as all the information is there, I'm not personally attached to it. I'm just. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Yeah. You're here. Thank you. <laughs> so thank you. Pre really appreciate you getting this. Okay. Sure. Sure. Um, So you saw that I have, I do have community up top in the bold headline, the first Yeah, and then you have it in the subheading, but then you say consumer preference survey in the first paragraph, so. But in the second we want, paragraph. We want consumer, though. It's right. community again. <laughs> right, so, so just we're just going to have to be, con we're just going to have to be consistent right. throughout, mm -hmm. wherever we reference it, yeah. both on the website and yeah. in print. And, it, and, it's, and it's consumer, not community. Right. So can we move on then? To the yeah. Um, I'm, I'm thinking B, we pretty much we've covered, covered that. that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. C above. The only thing that I feel like we need to still talk about is drop off and pick up locations of the survey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because again, this is going to be hard printed in the survey and we're running low on time. Mm. But drop off where people can pick them up, you mean to. to so that we yeah. can have a stack of them mm -hmm. in some local businesses and a box with a slot so people can mm -hmm. return them. I, th I think as few as possible, just because we're going to be... Pick three really yeah, good I think central like The, the Latham community, um, because of the seniors who don't get out as much, okay. uh, and Big E, and here. What about the um, the senior center? Yeah, we discussed the senior center. Too. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Where's Lathrop? Okay. Where's Lathrop? Off Florence Road. It's really far out of town. Oh well, maybe we don't need Lathrop then. Maybe just. Well, I don't want to leave them out, but I wonder if they get the paper anyway. They must get the survey, right? Yeah, but now do, does each resident get? Um, the summit. You know, I'm not sure. I know the summit goes to everyone who doesn't get the paper. Subscribe. Like but does it go rooms? to individual rooms though? It's do they all have like separate front doors and separate addresses? Or There's both. There's like an assisted living, big building, and then some of their own houses. Some of the, the people who are in their own house are probably going to get the summit anyway. Right. Mm -hmm. The people who are in the large building, maybe not. So let's have the Lathrop, the building in the Lathrop, the senior center, 
biggie in here. So how many copies are in Summit? 10,000? Yeah, it's, uh, it's all of a 1027, which includes West Hampton, is about 10,000 and change. So we get and then that covers the direct mailing of the ones that don't get the Summit subscription. Like, so they mail it to everyone who doesn't subscribe to the, the Gazette. Okay. <clears throat> What, are they printing extras for us to have dropped off? Or I think we would have to. That, that is up to us. Okay. So we need to figure out, I think we would have to, to how to print up. How many can we print extra to put at these drop off locations? I mean, that's. Can we just photocopy the mirror? Can, do we have a photocopier that'll print um, 11 by 17 yeah, on both that's sides? Did this I'd say do that. Okay, can we get the city to do that? I mean, I, I don't see why not. Right. If it's in the, if it's in the, you know, hundreds, I think it's fine. Okay. But if it's in the more than that, we're gonna have. Yeah. You don't okay. ruin your printer. You know, if we if we if we if we end up doing a ream of you know 200 copies or something like that, and we're dividing them along. But so what, you want to give 200 copies out at Big E? Is that what you're saying? Or? Yeah. No, I mean I think we we put like 20 or 30 copies at Big E, 20 or 30 copies at Lathrop. You know, most people are going to be getting it. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're just looking for the drop box. Hmm. I think. I think there'd be a drop box in where you'd have a pickup. And then the other thing is, you know, if we're going, with, if we do this with the drop boxes, we go out there a few times a week to look if the stack's low of we can blank finish. once we re replenish it. What about at Eastwork? So if they have an area there with. I think it's just getting too too much. I think it's getting too much too. If yeah. we want to do Eastworks instead of another place, I think that's cool. Uh -huh. But see, Eastwork, Eastworks though, I think people around there are generally more mobile, and they're probably going to get it otherwise, elsewise. I, I'm thinking the main reasons to have the senior center and the Lathrop community is because there there could be people who aren't as mobile mm -hmm. in this way that we're giving them a lot more opportunity to get it. Mm -hmm. I think, and, and the other reason, there there are specific people who can kind of keep an eye on it. If we just have them out on the table in Eastworks, that's you know, right. someone could take it for a kidney or something. Well, I just worry that we have to get the word out. I think then it just, more and more, it's right. it's online that we yeah. need to get the word out somehow. Mm -hmm. And thinking about the website and also about the chamber, maybe we could get the chamber to, some, to announce it on their Twitter feed as well, or, or ECA, or some of our partner organizations, too, because we, we don't have very many followers mm -hmm. on our Facebook, and there's 50. Mm -hmm. uh, can we nail down those? We would start digressing from the, mm -hmm. the yeah. four physical locations. Right. Does everyone agree that those four are okay? So we have Lathrop, Biggies, the Senior Center, and here. And 50 pieces. Okay. Um, <clears throat> And I think by here we could be the clerk's office upstairs. Or downstairs, and we can have a few locations in the building. Okay. As long as, we, as long as as long as there's someone here to monitor the various different locations for returns. Yeah. We can do that. Okay. So, so we do have to then now go to these businesses and places mm -hmm. and ask them. ask them. Right. So I don't know. If Anyone wants to volunteer to <laughs> certainly contact me. I can hear crickets. Yeah. <laughs> can you can do, go that? Okay. I can do the Lathrop and the senior center. Okay, I, no, I, can, I can do Big E and City Hall. Do you know Big Ben? Well, I'll, I'll take care of the City Hall. <laughs> I'll, I'll take care of the city clerk and you know, I'll, I'll make sure I'll take care of uh, scrounging up boxes to like make the donation boxes or not the donation the yeah. response boxes. Okay. Um, and can you just let me know if you hear back from them? Oh yeah. What absolutely. the response is? Sure. Because if they if they say no, then we have to find a an alternate. Yeah. Or absolutely. we should find an alternate. We may not need to. I think in terms of a drop envelope too. So I'm thinking of biggies. I mean, they're not going to be able to take a box. There's just no room in that in there. So mm -hmm. maybe even an envelope they can just, just slide them into. Them. Yeah. How about be fine. asking mm -hmm. Biggie if? If we could put a small, like quarter page insert where they put it in people's bag that says Local Works East Hampton, but go to our website to take the local reference survey. 
Okay, I like dominoes. You can also, um, they have a community board there too. Yeah, community so board. you can um, put something up on the community board and get something like a big, like, fluorescent, yeah, you know, flyer or something for that. And mm -hmm. um, you mentioned the chamber. The chamber, yeah. Sometimes they have, I don't know if they have, like, empty space in their window, but maybe to put up, you know, mm -hmm. some stuff about the oh, survey in mm -hmm. the window. We have yeah. that opportunity that's booked out. Mm -hmm. The window's booked out? Probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Can we continue? I want to make sure we Let's move on. Website. Okay, yeah. but I think this is a good. Yeah. Yeah. So, what, what flyers? We should get back to that because we should do flyers, right? Yeah. yeah. So then we have to make flyers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> flyers for local works or flyers for the survey? Sure. Okay. For the survey that have the link, the QR code, right. the like us. Isn't this is what the what the ads in the press release was for? It could be like the ad. Yeah. 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 We want to get the word out. It's free advertising after we make the flyer. Your ad, your ad could be the flyer. Okay. Or just make it bigger. Okay. And yeah, it doesn't East have to be anything separate. Has a That's board. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Paragon has a board. Oh, that. Oh, that. Could be that. Okay. That's right. Yes. Okay. And the flywheel has a board. Yep. yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Florida Savings Bank, East Devon Savings Bank, blah, 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 let's put something up. Mm -hmm. Josh, did you get all those locations in there? Well, we went for the admin. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think it's just going to be all the them to yeah. actually have them on the market. So when we. Mm -hmm. uh, Chamber, um, EDIC, um, E. Oh. Eats. ECA? Old Town Hall. Old Town Hall. Big Eats. Yeah. East Works. Paragon. Both banks. We know three banks. What's the third? Bank, Bank of America. America. Even though I hate them. I, don't, I hate them too, but people go there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For the record, you're so much so 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 like <laughs> you're, you're speaking for yourself. <laughs> Three banks. Uh, we also have the boards outside that the city clerk manages. Okay. But if we had flyers like that, we could just cruise around one afternoon and put a few up. Right, and be ideal to do those like um, maybe the day the survey comes out or a few days afterwards. EC plus. Tom's. Full time. Oh, that's full time. Okay, okay. Uh, Far we want to see here. Yeah. All right, so we should probably yeah. transition because we're running a little low on time. Okay. Um, so, local works website. Yeah. I am going to the chamber tomorrow to address them. Uh, chamber, uh, initially when this group started, the Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. uh, and the ECA Plus were partners, sponsors of this entity. Um, in probably about six months ago, um, our website has been floundering and we haven't done much. And many of the members of the Chamber of Commerce uh, expressed concern that it was stagnant and they wanted to have their affiliation be not publicized. We've done a lot of work since then on getting the website uh, to its current minimal. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 Maybe minimal now, but it looks a lot better than it did. Yeah. More functional. Uh, so the chamber has asked us to come back mm -hmm. and address them. So I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. Oh, great. So, but we have had discussions in the past few yeah. days about how, what really the website's going to be for and how much access the various businesses are going to mm -hmm. have and what they can put up there. But maybe this would be interesting to, for Hannah, like as an organization, what kinds of things, what, what, what you know perhaps little about local work or mm -hmm. mission so far, but as a venue, what would you look for that website? As a potential partner organization, what would you want to be able to do there? Sure. Um, I was actually just looking at the website before I came over because I was talking to my coworker and I was like, all right, I have to go down, you know, I said some city hall and she's like, I think that's the wrong location. So I um, looked on the website and there was, I don't believe that there's a contact 
section of like where the actual physical address is. Okay. Um, so I don't know if you will be if this will be the physical address for the entire time that the local works is available. But um, yeah, what? We have one. I'm sorry, interrupted. Just if you know people have questions, like a physical right. address. There's a lot of missing info that it's very, it's almost like a skeleton. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, we should add on there contact, and the contact info, if nothing else, info at localworks.org. Local right. Works, exactly. And one of us monitor that. Well, there is an email. There is an email. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Who does who monitors I get the emails from the info. Them. We can yeah. okay. set it up so it goes to. But no, if you're willing to take that on yeah. and you check it, then... It's just forwarding to my email. Yeah, then that's, okay. that's, that's perfect. Yeah. Do we, we could also, can we have your phone number on there as well, though? Sure. Okay. You know, and, and we can also put the physical address of 50 Payson Kira Planning Department. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, okay. that's how I always refer, it's local works Kira Planning but Department. We, we, there's been some discussion about what other kinds of information about local work should be on there. Uh, Kathy, who's not here, I don't want to speak for her, but she had called me and suggested she thought to maybe put the bit links to these videos to, to create a link to the ECAT page to where the, the yes. actual meeting minutes are. <coughs> Should there be the be the minutes themselves available on there? I don't know. I, um, Certainly our meeting schedule. The schedule where it's held. could be on there. Yeah. I, I like that idea. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, it's but, so there's something about like that. Put the That's more like the about page. But as far as what organizations and partner groups, the, I think the idea is there that eventually entities can register and have a page where they put their own information up. Whether it's uh, what kind of information can that be is what we need to determine so that there's a standard. I mean, should they be able to do commercial and you know I'm having a sale at my business this week I'm a, you know maybe it should have something to do with local East Hampton you're not advertising a business mm -hmm. that does not even in East Hampton mm -hmm. potentially or maybe have um, specific questions for each business that's going to be a part of the website fill out so it's the same information for each mm. place and then just mm -hmm. put their logo and then some that's good information good. about it some sort of template so that some people aren't you know yeah. bombarded with so much information for one business so some sort of standardized mm -hmm. profile almost mm -hmm. but I think part of the the functionality of the website that would be nice is for people to be able to link to dynamic content of their own like a little blog post or a Twitter feed that they could kind of add so if it's just a static page with a few questions which is kind of an interesting idea but mm -hmm. there's a lot more functionality possible there with our there's a way to I think there's definitely a, a happy middle of like yeah. a set of standard questions and you know and then maybe below that it's like you know you have a, a little bit of space to you know highlight what's going on in your store but it's very even amongst the different pages, that space is standardized. standardized. But there could be mm -hmm. some sort of blog area for the business yeah. itself, mm -hmm. as long as it's not. I, I, I just I don't know if that's our job. Or maybe like a what's happening section. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that, because I don't know if every business will have something that's going on, you know, each month or each day. Mm -hmm. So maybe just what's happening page, like section, and then a section where all the local businesses are that just say their blurb about themselves. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's important. I think it's important that we be able to monitor so that it doesn't get taken advantage of by anyone. Mm -hmm. Or it's, let me say it this way: so that some businesses don't get more than other businesses have available to them. And that may be where Kathy was um, expressing some concern in terms of just having people free willy nilly be able to put up whatever they want. Mm -hmm. I think Ben, you're right. There's a happy medium. I also think that. Realistically, how many businesses have the opportunity to, or have the capacity rather, to, you know, handle their own website and another page on our website and right. another page, right. you know, so Facebook. So board, like, right. they may say, oh no, that's too much work. Mm. Whereas having a, f a quick questionnaire that's Template. like ten, you know, ten questions about this business that can answer, local. and then it, they they do it once, we upload it. 
or we approve it, and then they don't have to think about it again, mm -hmm. we're a lot more likely to get a higher response rate mm -hmm. from businesses who don't have to maintain some other. I think I like this idea, but I also what I don't like about it is that static content on the internet is, is mm -hmm. doesn't do much for anyone unless somebody stumbles on it. Whereas content that's new and and blog type content that that actually can generate traffic mm -hmm. on the internet for that business as well as for local work. And I think we have to be responsible for our content and relying on other people to provide you the content agree. is, you know, the, 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 the nature of not being static is that as businesses come and go, we update that listing. Of I mean, people can submit things, some submit links and stuff, but I still think we have to have control over it. I think that's where the heavy medium comes in. Mm -hmm. For the people who don't, who aren't as computer savvy, then yeah, your idea of having a profile template is a great one. Mm -hmm. But why can't they have a blog on, on our page where they can publish an article just about whatever they want, about their business? Well, uh, I, but why couldn't we, if they have a blog, like everyone can have a blog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why can't we have a link to their blog? Why wouldn't we just say, here's a link to, and, and now include a link to their blog? Like, yeah, because the content like it's coming out of, out of local works is actually going to bring up the value of, of everybody's page. If there's content on our site about them, it creates a, a stronger search rank for them over on their page, and that might be attractive to businesses rather than just the static page. You know, there's nothing for somebody. Why would anyone visit that page more than once? Yeah. If I can, um, the ECA website is set up where um, it is very similar to a, a template that um, the artist or the artistic business fills out. They are allowed to upload a certain amount of photographs and they can change that at any time they want. Mm. Um, you know, as you produce more work, you can change the photos out, that kind of thing. Mm. If you have more um, shows coming up, you know, a different year, you change that. Um, and it's approved before it's published, mm -hmm. but then you can maintain your own page all you want. So you can modify your content. You can modify your content. Mm -hmm. um, you could have a link to a blog or a website, mm -hmm. but there wouldn't be any actual blog on your page. Mm -hmm. um, where the where the dynamic info comes in is um, is everything else. I mean, um, Burns is constantly putting up new. Um, you know, interviews with artists right. and, you know, the calendar of events and all that. So mm -hmm. she pulls from all of the members. Right, so she's doing most of the right. content. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that idea. I like that idea in terms of control. Um, and it's, so it's not thoroughly static. Mm -hmm. And it gives give, gives businesses the, the some sort of creative content. Mm -hmm. But then it's also not that... that so someone can just take over and take advantage. Right. I, I think no, I anything that goes up has to be vetted through us. Right. Okay. Um, well, I think I, I have a good picture as to what I can say to the chamber tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, what are you going to say to the chamber tomorrow? Um, <laughs> you know the whole presentation now. <laughs> Come to the chamber. Um, pretty much what we've talked about, you know, without you know all the discussion, that our website is going to be there for. Um, the benefit of businesses in East Hampton. Mm -hmm. um, and people are going to be able to uh, submit information about their business and links about their business. Um, but it's going to be, we will be able to say yay or nay before it goes live. Um, I, I'm, I want to be particularly sensitive that we don't. Um, do anything that any chamber members could possibly view as being uh, conflict, mm -hmm. conflict of interest, or couldn't more so competitive with the chamber. Uh, so well, we're not as long as we're not charging for the service. I think that's the big thing. We're I think we're not where we're providing a listing online of local businesses, and I believe that that fits the model of what we're doing. We, the, the local works is to the benefit of the city, not to the benefit of a set of businesses, a group of individuals, or yeah. whatever. Everyone has that same opportunity. Mm -hmm. Everyone has that right, and we're just making sure that nothing offensive or mm -hmm. hurtful right. mm -hmm. is going up on our website, and that's what we're checking for when we yeah. approve that we 
will basically approve this very liberal approval policy. We look not like yeah. What were you going to say? That our local works um, is for the consumer, and that's how we're we're looking at it, and that's how we're going to gear the website. Mm -hmm. Whereas the chamber is for its business membership. So I think if we gear it more towards, which is part of our mission anyway, is to educate the consumer. Mm -hmm. So I think we need more about our mission to flesh that out a bit, to get some of these ideas in there and put that on the website too. Just throwing that out. Mm -hmm. um, that's a good point. Um, I was just, you know, we 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 need almost a full time. Um, I mean, I've been updating You've a bunch of stuff, uh, right? as I can, links and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, is that fully part of your job description, or is it to be a local works? No, I mean, I'm really the, I try to help out the committee where I can, Yeah. but I do have a lot of other responsibilities <laughs> in, the, yeah. in the city as well, so it's not, you know, I can... I, my my the thing that I'm doing right now, the majority of what I'm working on for local works is getting this so survey yeah. actually. Yeah. Well, so I'm, I'm taking Thank you. I'm taking a step back from like the website and doing that information and mm. maybe in the future I can right. do more again. Mm -hmm. If I can add one more thing about what I'm going to talk about to the chamber tomorrow, um, I do want to make sure that it is, I get the point across, that we don't want to charge anyone anything. Because I know that was possibly a source of contention when some people thought that we might. Hmm. Both in the chamber and in this group, people thought that we might at one point charge for accessibility and things. And so I want to make sure that that's stated that we do not and we have no intention of doing that. This, this committee is here because EDIC wanted it. And I think EDIC should have more of more of a play, more you know, some opinions. Where do they want to see the website go? Where does the chamber want to see the website go? You know, where does ECA want to see the website go? It's mm. you know, I mean it's not right. up to us to tell the chamber you know, to defend our point. They're part right. of this. Yeah, that's true. Uh, unfortunately, you know, week after week you know, this is basically the group that you <laughs> So, you know, if this is a subcommittee, it's an independent committee. You know, I think that we have to make, where, where we're not getting the feedback that we need, we have to make the choices that are, mm -hmm. that we feel are right. Mm -hmm. Based well, on we, what we know, that people have said to us. <clears throat> well, we do have representation from the chamber. Mm -hmm. Normally, we have some. Right. right. I mean, we yeah. also have, oh, that's right, you're, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. And we also have the chamber too, right? Right? Mm -hmm. as far as decision well. um, but we also have ECA plus mm -hmm. and now I'm on the EDIC so I think we're pretty well represented I, what I would like to avoid is we don't want to feel like these other entities feel like we just work we don't have any ideas of our own and what should tell us what to do because we're not going to be happy okay. they're, they're going to have their own agendas that's probably going to be different and I think we mm -hmm. hopefully could develop our own ideas which would be yeah, more I, won't, in I won't be making this look that way so, okay. <laughs> well represented. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Real quick update on the cultural district subcommittee. Um, have we met since the first? No. No. Okay. No. We had a wonderful um, proposed cultural district tour. Mm -hmm. There is a um, Cottage Street, um, East Hampton has. Um, gone before the Massachusetts Cultural Council to make Cottage Street a designated cultural district. Um, and the, the MCC, the Massachusetts Cultural Council, came here on uh, February 1st mm -hmm. and took a tour, um, met a lot of the um, business owners on the street. Um, we had meetings upstairs with um, city officials and um, other business partners within the community. Mm -hmm. That went extremely well. Mm -hmm. Really well. Um, I mean, every uh, Burns just had it so well organized, and other people did as well. Um, and every business that we met had a nice presentation for um, the MCC, and um, they were very impressed. They will take all that information back. The consultant who is here as well um, writes up a report, 
and that is given to the MCC, and then the MCC board makes a decision, and they will announce that decision on March 19th. And I believe that's in Springfield, and a few of you will be asked to go to that if you're able to go. So all looks very positive, but we won't know until mid-March. Yeah, it was cool. It was a great day. It was really fun. Yeah. I learned a lot about yeah. this this year. Yeah, every door you walk in, it's just yeah. Wow, this is here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So. so I think we're out of time here. I think we're out Just of about that here. Yep. So the calendar says. Does anyone know what the next meeting day is? Twenty-four twenty-six. I have two weeks from today. No. Yep. For your information, we meet the second and fourth Tuesdays. Okay. At three. Just a quick update. Kathy had visited me. I think it was last week. Um, about setting up a time to do the, the video shoot, and we've tentatively set it up for Monday. Great. Good. So we'll, cool. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> for for Marianne's dance. Yep. We're going to focus on fitting ballet shoes and see how that goes yeah. first. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, quick uh, update for you. If yes. you are interested in being part of this group at all, mm -hmm. um, we have the, if people show an interest and mm -hmm. they make regular appearances here, um, we can vote new members in up to a degree. I'm meeting with our parent group next Tuesday and asking if we can have one or two more slots. Mm -hmm. Right now we're full. But if you're interested, keep coming back. Sure. Um, and if you'd like, I can add your name to the distribution, or your email to the distribution of the um, minutes. Absolutely, and you said this meets uh, twice a month? Yes. Second and fourth Second. Tuesday. Okay. Do you want me to add your email? I will um, have to speak with Dr. Adaska just okay. to double check with him, but I would, okay. I would love to. Yeah, that's great, because like we appreciate yeah. you coming yes, in. Thank you. Do you want to write down my email if you want? Yes, yeah, sure. Jay? I think I forwarded you the email that I can. Okay, yeah, so yeah. it's it, uh, uh, my email is on the address. The oh, okay, I see. I want to get on the distribution list. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not, you don't have to commit. Okay, sure. <laughs> you know, to anything, no but, pressure. you know, that, that way you'll just be, we'll send out, we usually send the agenda out a week in advance, and okay. the minutes usually follow a few days after the meeting. Sure. It's a pretty low key. And um, having a business re represented on the board is pretty cool too. Yeah. Absolutely. And I did um, what I mentioned about the meetings. I had gone onto the calendar and I um, and I clicked on the 12th, but it didn't come up as a meeting. Do you typically put it that there's a meeting? I attempted to put the meetings into the calendar on our website and the local works website and it did it work? It didn't work. All right, and then go. I gave up on it. I couldn't do recurring events. I like you well, have, maybe this is a better plug or something for that. We'll check in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh, meeting adjourned. Thank you. Thank you.